Apple released new contain ration run times. We already have Docker and other contain ration run time. Then why they release new contain ration run time? Your iPhone becomes an edge node. Your Vision Pro runs private AI model. It's not just another container runtime. It's about reinventing containers for Apple ecosystem. Hi, this is Murli Thulam, founder of ITS Code Private Limited, architect trainer in the area of DevSecOps, Azure, AWS, Kubernetes with AML IoT integration. Till now, I have trained more than 5,000 plus students and 1,000 plus students working with top MNCs. Also, we have developed Fira business management platform, so which helps small and medium business streamline operations and scale with confidence. Today, let us discuss about how Apple containerization is different from traditional containerization. Let us see that. Now, let us discuss about Apple containerization. Before discussing Apple containerization, first let us see what is containerization. So, let us see here, developers, they are trying to develop the code. Within their desktop, with the Visual Studio code, they are trying to develop the code. But here they tested, it is working fine. Once it is moved to different environments, dev and QA and prod, this is the cycle, right? So once it is done, dev, QA and prod, so we can start accessing, users will access the application. So they can access the application from production environment. Right? So here you can see users. Okay. Now, Whatever application they develop, it is working fine with desktop, but whenever they're trying to deploy with dev, they're facing some issues, some dependency issues. Now let us define contain ration. Contain ration is a technique. We can combine software applications and it dependencies into single unit. It's called container. Also let us observe before contain ration as well. So first let us see, so initial days, there is a bare metal server. Server. On top of that, you can host one operating system, one OS. Right. So here you can host one application here. After that, people started using virtualization same server and here they added virtualization layer hypervisor hypervisor on top of that multiple os you can create it here each os one application. These two scenarios, we need our own data centers. So if you observe these two scenarios, we need our own data centers. This one you can call on-prem servers. On-prem or physical servers. Also this one you can say virtualization. After that same virtualization environment, cloud vendor, they started use managing this environment. We are calling cloud environments. Right. So next. So you see, this is the containeration. Operating system, on top of that, we can install our container runtime, whether it is Docker, so different content, container runtimes, Pod, Podman, container, different container runtimes. On top of that, you can create your containers. So here we are sharing base operating system. For each container, whatever resources you need, so container runtime, it will try to fetch it from. So base servers, from there, it is trying to use it. Here, there are some security issues also. So for that, we need to mitigate that issues as well. So here, Apple containerization, so operating system. So here, they, the major difference is this the one. So they are using lightweight VMs. Each container, they're using lightweight VM. You see, so this is a container one, container two, container two, three, and each container resides in the some lightweight VM. 
this is the major difference between so here you can see so here they will try to enhance or secure the best practices you know, so with the help of this strategy also let us observe within the vm let us see some concepts as well so there is a vm init init process vm init it will take care of all these parameters ip address assignment mounting file systems your containers api as well as process management these are all things will be handled by your vm init okay. also just see so once you implemented the solutions it is compatible with other components as well it is a oci standard it is following oci standards as well open container initiative here the important point is instead of placing all the containers in the one server one vm so here you can place each container in the one con one container per one vm so that we can enable isolation as well also we can accelerate security as well also you can pull any docker image also you can push images to docker container registries different container registries also you can work with your existing ci cd pipeline one more important thing so each container having their own ip address so it eliminates port forwarding process also we can increase security also it is simplifying service discovery as well as communication process as well there is no shared kernel also small image size it accelerate iot and edge computing scenarios as well I refer the official blog so apple official blog also just see so githubs as well apple containeration github also technical documentation as well detailed documentation till now we discussed about apple containeration so how it is different from traditional containeration versus apple containeration so traditional containeration they are sharing single vm with multiple containers apple containeration major difference is they are using one container one vm per one container this is a major difference also there is no shared kernel that's why we can accelerate our security back practices as well if you like this video please share it and subscribe and see you in the next video